in the year 1805, a nine-year-old George Catlin encountered an Oneida Indian in South Central New York. At first, Catlin was frightened, but the respect shown to him by the Indian was comforting. This experience most likely triggered Catlin's obsession with Indians. Captivated by the Native American's classic beauty, Catlin then began searching for Indian subjects and felt the desire to portray them in the form of art. Catlin had little or no prior training as an artist. He feared that Native Americans would soon become extinct, and he vowed that nothing short of the loss of my life shall prevent me from visiting their country and of becoming their historian. Catlin traveled to the West to study and make portraits of the natives and stayed there for six years with the exception of returning home for the winters. Though Catlin was not the first artist to portray Native Americans, he was the first to picture them so extensively in their own territories and was one of the few to portray them as fellow human beings rather than savages. Catlin denounced the term savage, calling it an abuse of the word and the people to whom it is applied. He spoke of Indians as honest, hospitable, and faithful. Reactions to Catlin's work varied from tribe to tribe. The Sioux men predicted dire consequences for members of the tribe whose souls Catlin drew on canvas. On the other hand, Blackfoot men eagerly allowed themselves to be painted. Though many saw the Indians as savages, George Catlin saw them as fellow humans and friends. He spent his life trying to bring dignity to the Indians through his art. I'm a Native American, I've been here for all time. I've worked this land 10,000 years through seasons cruel and kind. I welcomed you at Plymouth Rock, I helped you to survive. I'm a Native American, my heart is filled with pride. I'm a Native American, my numbers measured strong. I was told by my own honored guests that I did not belong. And many died from plague and flu and broken hearted lies. I'm a Native American, half truths can make me cry. Sisters had a tradition, they called it counting coup. One would touch one and retreat with honor to kill, would never do. Just one touch, no more, no less, would settle any score. Let us all live side by side. dreams will not collide and there is room for one and all there's so much we can share the future lies in our 